a breakout box. Something as simple as that, a concept as simple as that, it changes everything in the way that you teach. And it makes the equipment last so much longer because we know that the vehicles that you have in your shop, if you're having your students in there back probing, breaking the wires, spreading the terminals and the pins, you're gonna have problems. And you know, after one year of students working on it, that vehicle probably gonna have a few intermittent problems. So it's one of the advantages of having an engine bench and it changes the way that you're gonna teach. The breakout box has all of the pins, all the terminals, all the wires that go to the engine control module, which is located down here. Okay, so everything here is wired in parallel, brought right up to the front. And we provide the pin identification for all the pins at the breakout box. And again, these are the exact same schematics and the exact same pins and the exact same terminology as the manufacturer in all cases. So every wire that's down there is up here. The other advantage is that because we're using two millimeter um, sockets, your multimeter leads. So once you turn the multimeter on, your multimeter leads, they fit directly in there. And we have seen schools that have had breakout boxes on engine benches for 10 years, 15 years, and the harness is still intact, the engine is still running, everything's fine. These might get a little bit worn out after a couple thousand uses, but you can understand that this compared to working with one of the connectors, uh, it's not the same thing at all. These are way more robust and way easier for your students to learn with. We know that entry level students have difficulty in back probing. And a lot of teachers, you know, they say, well, a breakout box, I don't want to use a breakout box, that's not real life. You're absolutely right. And the goal for us with these breakout boxes is to allow the students to gain the competencies to get to real life. A lot of schools that use console lab engine benches, what they'll end up doing is having a separate class on connectors. And they'll give out to their students a bunch of uh, recycled connectors from a local recycling yard and have the students take the connectors apart, learn how to back pro them, and they're gonna scrap them. We know that but it means that they can do that without doing it on your live vehicle or without doing it on one of your pieces of training equipment. So that's just a little bit I wanna tell you about using a console lab breakout box. Thanks for watching.